I'm back with a haul and let's get started. So the first and most exciting item that I got this month, or actually last month, is this micro Celine bag. I've decided for a long time if I should spend the amount of money I'm spending on this bag and what size I should be getting. So I finally decided that I would get the micro size because it's a bit smaller, so it's lighter and it's easier to carry for me. I also went to Bloomingdale's and I had some gift cards for Bloomingdale's. And the first place that I went to was the watch section because I love watches, especially Michael Kors watch. If you guys watched my birthday video, um, or my birthday haul I should say, I got this uh, rose gold and white watch like this. But I like this so much that when they came out with the rose gold and pink watch, I got that as well. So these two are actually the same exact watches, except the face of it is pink instead of white like this one. So that is just what it looks like. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This one makes me look a little bit more on a tan side. So in the summer, I feel like it's going to be really shiny and it's going to be gorgeous. This one matches a little bit better with my silver jewelry because it has the white in it. So I can change between gold and silver now. So definitely, this is amazing. Also from Bloomingdale's, I got this Michael Kors short trench coat. That's what it looks like. It's not a trench coat, I'm sorry. It's a wool coat. Yes, that's what it is. So it's really warm, but I wanted something with a little bit more wool, so I'm still looking for the perfect coat. I have one that is a bit longer than this one right here, but I feel like it's a little bit too fancy, so I wanted to get a short one, and I definitely found one right here. I really do like it, but I'm just debating if I should keep it because of the size. I don't feel like it's perfect, and for the amount of money I'm spending on it, it should be perfect. So I'm still on the lookout for a better short trench coat. No. Wool coat, yes. So I went over to the sunglasses aisle and picked up a pair of Michael Kors sunglasses. My mom picked up a pair of um, Marc Jacobs and they were really cheap actually. They were all under $100 and on the sale with this, it was under $100 as well. So it's pretty good. So these are the pairs that I got. It's a rose gold pair as you know with the watch and my watch right now. I do really like rose gold and that is what it looks like. It is not reflective because I do not like reflective sunglasses. I feel like they're kind of awkward because everyone is like checking themselves out in your sunglasses. I feel like that's just really weird, but this is what this one looks like. I forgot the name of these. I think it's on my little tag. Let me go check. These are called the Merchon Mica Rose Gold Sunglasses. The style is called ML2066S if you guys are interested. I will link it in the bottom bar so you guys can check it out if you want to. But they're having really good sales and I think it might be still going on right now. So I will link all of these items in the Bloomingdale's website. So you guys can go check them out. But I really do like it and it makes me just even more excited for the summer to come. Because right now it's just really cloudy. There's no use for sunglasses right now. So that's a bad thing. The last thing I picked up from Bloomingdale's are these Michael Kors Arlie booties. That's what it looked like. Um, they also have the longer version of it, like the tall boots, but I didn't get those because I like booties and they make my legs look longer. I'm pretty short, so I want my legs to look a little bit longer. And it just have gold buckles on it, gold hardware all over, and real leather from the top to the bottom, which is something I really appreciate. I love the smell of leather and I just like the shininess of it. So I got those. Again, I will link the site or I'll link the shoes down below so you guys can find it if you guys want to. So I left Bloomingdale's and I saw Steve Maiden across the street. So I went in there just to go look around and I picked up these little bad boys. The thing I love the most about these are the heels. It has this little gold strap with little studs on them and they're not too tall so your feet will definitely feel very comfortable and I like chunky heels instead of stilettos. I would never wear stiletto heels in my life, but chunky heels are definitely my favorite. So I got these, and they were on sale too. So it's just everything was on sale because the summer is coming, so they're trying to get rid of their winter stuff. But I am so going to rock these in the spring as well. I got these pair of boots. They are not from Uggs, although they kind of do resemble Uggs. But they are made of real suede, and I think it's fake wool over here. They're from a shop called The Walker Shop from Hong Kong, so I got these in December back when I went there for vacation. But this is what it looks like, and it's really pretty. It's really fluffy, it feels good, and it's like furry all the way down inside. So your feet's gonna be really, really warm. I also got this from the same store, The Walker Shop. 
that I got them at. And again, they were made of real suede. I don't even know what suede is made out of, to be honest. This one has silver studs all around the top. And also has a silver zipper that goes down. I don't even know if the zipper is real or not. I think it's fake because I can't pull it down. But this is one of those things that you just slip on. You don't need the zipper for it. And that's what it looks like. My mom actually also got the same pair because they were beautiful. And they were buy one, get one free. So it was a pretty good deal. So that concludes my haul. But just for a future heads up, I think my next two videos are probably going to be hauls as well. Because the spring is coming. I have been buying shorts and skirts and crop tops and everything like that. So if you guys want to continue watching, then please subscribe if you haven't. But that is it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!